In solving algebraic equations, your goal is to get x by itself. You accomplish that if you get rid of everything except the x. And of course, if the variable was an a or a k, you would solve for that variable. I'll use x a fair bit, so that's why I chose it here. When I say get x by itself, I want to show you what that means. This x is by itself. Whatever's on the other side doesn't matter. If you have x equals 6, that's fine. If you have 6 equals x, that's fine. In both of these cases, x is by itself. Now, technically, by itself, it's 1x, but we don't have to write the 1. Again, over here, x is by itself. Even if on the other side of the equal sign, you have something like q minus 7 over r raised to the fifth power, it doesn't matter. You have x by itself. You solved the algebraic equation. So in your effort to get x by itself, that is, get rid of everything except the x, you're basically going to focus on two questions. First, you decide what you want to get rid of, and then you focus on how it's held there. Because by using the opposite operation, you can get rid of it. For instance, if it's held by multiplication, then you divide. If it's held by division, then you multiply. Looking at the first equation, I want to get rid of the 5. That way I'll have x all by itself. The 5 is held by multiplication. That's the math shorthand. A number next to a letter means to multiply. So I will divide by 5 on each side of the equal sign. By putting a bar underneath this term, this says divide by 5, divide by 5. 5 goes into 5 one time, so I have 1x, or I can simply write x, equals, bring down your equal sign, 20 divided by 5 is 4, and we have the solution to the first equation. This next equation is very similar to the previous one. r times x is equal to k. If I get rid of the r, I will have solved the algebraic equation because I will have x all by itself. r is held by multiplication. Again, math shorthand. A variable next to a variable means to multiply. So the opposite operation is division. Divide by r, come to the other side of the equal sign, and divide by r. r goes into itself one time. I have 1x, or simply write the x, and it's equal to k over r. I have x by itself, so I've solved the equation. Looking at this equation, to get x by itself, I want to get rid of the 3. It's held by division. That's what this bar indicates. The opposite of division is multiplication. So I will multiply by 3. And on the other side of the equal sign, I'll multiply by 3. If it helps you to see this as 3 over 1, I haven't changed the value. It's still 3. And hopefully you're aware I can cancel these terms. 3 goes into 3 one time. So I have 1x. Bring down the equal sign. 10 times 3 is 30. And this equation may look different, but it really says the same thing as this equation. It's understood that there's a 1 in front of the x. So this is a 1 in front of the x. The variable can sit up top or on the side. 
it cannot be on the bottom. That has a different meaning. To get x by itself, I want to get rid of the one-third. It's held by multiplication. This is one-third times x. The opposite operation is division. When you divide by a fraction, you take the reciprocal, or we often say flip it, and multiply. So I multiply each side by 3 over 1. I come over here, I multiply by 3 over 1. And again, if it helps you to see, this can be written as 10 over 1. That's fine. 3 goes into 3 one time. I'm left with 1x, or simply x. Bring down the equal sign. 10 times 3 is 30. I don't have to say that each of these is over a 1. So again, that's our solution. The algebraic equations are the same. They're just written in a slightly different form. And the answers are the same. And looking at our last example on this page, even if it's all letters, I want x by itself. I'll get rid of the r. It's held by division. So I'll multiply by r and multiply by r. R goes into itself one time. This leaves 1x, or simply x. And I can write this as QR. I don't have to put the multiplication dot. So this is the answer. When you're trying to get rid of terms that are added or subtracted, the opposite operation involves using the opposite sign of the term that you want to get rid of. So here we have a 7 we want to get rid of. It's held by addition or subtraction. This is a positive 7, so I'll put negative 7 underneath it. And I go to the other side of the equal sign. I put a negative 7. Just draw a line and bring down everything. So the x comes down. I could put a zero here, but I don't need to say plus zero. On the other side of the equal sign, positive 10, negative 7 yields a positive 3. That's our solution. It's the same routine here. To get x by itself, I want to get rid of the r. It's held by addition or subtraction. The opposite operation is accomplished with a negative r. So I come to the other side of the equal sign. I put a negative r. Draw a line here and just bring down whatever's left. x comes down. Plus r minus r is a 0. I don't need to write that. And here, k and r are not like terms, so I simply write k minus r. By the way, if you wanted to put negative r plus k, that would be acceptable as well, but it's more work to write it that way, so I prefer this form. So you could have x equals negative r plus k, but it's just easier to read x equals k minus r or negative r. Those words are basically interchangeable. But either one of these is an acceptable answer. Turning our attention over here, I want to get rid of a negative 9. It's held by addition or subtraction, so I'll put a positive 9 underneath it. I go to the other side of the equal sign. I put a positive 9. Just draw a line and bring everything down. This leaves x by itself. That's a 0. I don't have to write it. Negative 20, positive 9. Signs are different. You subtract. Keep the sign of the larger. So the solution is x equals negative 11. To get k all by itself, I want to get rid of that negative 4. 
it's held by addition or subtraction. This being a negative 4, I'll get rid of it with a positive 4. Come to the other side of the equal sign, put a positive 4. Draw a line. That's a 0, I don't need to write it. It's a positive k, but if I just write k, it's understood. And this gives us positive 11. So that's the solution. To get k by itself, I want to get rid of this positive 8. So I'll put a negative 8 underneath it. Just draw a line, bring everything down. k is by itself. Signs are the same, you add and keep the sign. There's our solution. To get k by itself, I want to get rid of a negative 6. So I put a positive 6 underneath it. I put a positive 6 on the other side of the equal sign. k comes down. That's a zero. I don't bother to write it. And the solution is eight.